Welcome back to KUTV News at 8. The relationship between poverty and health care can be described as one which is impossible to separate. Poverty is not only a cause and consequence of poor health, but also decreases the chance of improvement of health care. Mitigations have been tried, one of them being conditional cash transfer dubbed Oparanya Care, introduced in Kakamega County, which is literally changing lives by breaking this vicious cycle of poverty and poor health. Our very own Omo Nyango visited Kakamega and files the following report. Poverty is a major cause of ill health and a barrier to accessing health care when needed. The poor cannot afford to purchase those things that are needed for good health, including sufficient quantities of quality food, good housing and health care. Strategies have therefore been put in place to ensure that this cycle is reversed, including those that improve financial protection, addressing vulnerability that arises from it. Kakamega is the second most populous county in Kenya, with a growth rate of 3.5% per year, a county which has been on the front line in improving financial protection of its people to impact positively on the health status through the Afia Yamama na Mtoto program, popularly referred to as Oparanya Care, which has immensely reduced infant mortality rates in Kakamega County. <laughs> In 2014, the former Western Province headquarter was ranked fifth amongst 15 counties in Kenya with the worst reproductive maternal neonatal child and adolescent health statistics, standing at 316 deaths per every 100,000 live births, while newborn deaths were at 19 for every 1,000 births. Shakula Village is a rural area in Matungu constituency where most families, if lucky, live on less than 100 Kenyan shillings a day. We meet 24-year-old Petronila Ambei, a mother of three, and her husband, Balton Okiri. Our family is among those that make up the 49.6% poverty rate in this part of the country. Our husband's paltry income got from toiling on people's farm from dawn to dusk, seven days a week, is not enough for this family. <laughs> But all this was before the introduction of the Afia Yamama Namtoto program designed to reach the neediest in the county. Four years down the line, 43,472 beneficiaries. The 12,000 stipend that they receive monthly is a lifeline for most of the locals living here. But for others like Petronila and her family, these is all they needed. Targeting poor and disadvantaged pregnant and breastfeeding women, the program encourages them to use maternal and childhood services by assisting them with regular cash transfer as Cynthia Waswa, a clerk in the Operanya Care program tells us. Clinic ime ya mimba, unapata 2,000. Akizaliwa kwa ustali ya serikali, si nyumbani, elfu mbili. Akifika wiki sita, hivo, miezi sita. Petronilla's first move on getting her monthly 2,000 windfall was to replace her previously leaky small thatch house with a bigger house with fresh thatch. And for the next one and a half year that she was under the program, receiving the cash transfer every four months when she took her child for vaccination, she also invested on farming to support her family. So it helps her to like empower herself. She goes like um she starts a business, like a small business. If she was being rained on, there are some who are being rained on. She goes and buys a mabati, I don't know how many, so she can cover herself. Of course. Some have been apprehensive, pointing out that it may encourage women to give back to more babies as they are assured of support through this program. As much as this may be partially true, the scheme has conditions, among them those that limit the number of children they can support per household. Kakamega County, a needy mother, 
uh, a mother who has a child. If the child dies at six months or at birth, she'll only get uh, up to where the child died. Or if the child is alive, up to 18 months, unless she has uh, abandoned to come and uh, update. If she, like, for example, delivered at home, she'll miss for home delivery, but at a part of uh, Kama lenda four clinics atapata ya four, atendelea kupata ya six, nine, eighteen months, Ivo. So, I tell them, every clinic come and update. If you don't update, you'll only get the money up to where you stopped updating. Hmm. Right now, the proportion of skilled delivery in Kakamega has surpassed the 70% mark. From a mere 33% in 2013, the proportion of mothers who have attended their fourth antenatal clinic is almost hitting the 60% mark from 35% five years ago. Immunization of children has risen by over 20% from 63% four years ago. Sustainability of such projects has always been questioned, but as long as it stays and the turnarounds are visible like it is in Kakamega, then caution should be thrown to the wind.